Hi everyone, it's your girl Tayo, aka Misty. This is Misty Movies, where you get reviews on the latest movies. Thank you for tuning in to this video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification bell. Please like the video, share it with your friends, and also drop a comment in the comment section down below. I have a blog on WordPress and you can also check me out there. The link will be in the description box. Today we are going to be talking about The Woman King. The Woman King is a movie also based on a real life story. So it's an historical epic film about a group of all female warriors in West Africa. This group of warriors, they are called the Agoje. They protected the West African kingdom of Dahomey, which is in um, the country called Benin Republic today. So the, this Agoje is they protected Dahomey from the 17th to the 19th centuries. And so this particular story is set in the 1820s. So during this period, slave trade was still going on in Africa and in West Africa, the Oyo Empire was one of the big leaders in the slave trade. Like, they were big in doing the slave trade. And so, they captured people and they sell them to Europeans. So, this story begins when the Agujis, they go to rescue their people. That's the Ahomean people who had been captured by the Oyo army to be sold as slave so this group of women with their leader naneska that's um viola davis she and her warriors they went to rescue their people who had been captured so this sparked the war between them and the oil empire the general the oil general oba he was angry and he wanted to continue doing the slave trade but the Daume king and his people, they were thinking about backing out and stopping the slave trade and begin trading in other things. But the Oyo Empire, they didn't want that. So, yeah, so they wanted to go to war. The Agojes, they, they are the army in Daume. Um, research shows that it's probably because there were not enough men in Dahomey to form an army. So that's why their king also opted to pick women for his army. And the women, they became strong and powerful. And so, yeah, the Agujis, they recruited new people. They trained them very well. And they went to war and they were triumphant. They succeeded. And in Dahomey, they I have kind of like a tradition where the king picks a woman to be second in command, like the woman king. So during this period, the king was also trying to decide the person that was going to be the woman king. So after the Agujis, they came back triumphant and this uh, um, they won the war. He appointed Naneska as the woman king. So this made the people happy and they were safe. So yeah, that's what this movie is about. Um, it's about the kingdom of Daomi and their warriors, the Agujis, how they were powerful and how they protected their kingdom. So the movie is very interesting. I rate it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Yeah, the acting was very good. The set, the um, scenery, everything was very good. And I love the storyline. Yeah, like, I love storyline about, like, strong, powerful women. And they are black, so, yeah, I loved it. So, um, it's interesting. I highly recommend it. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, but, yeah, even though it's a war film, the, the fighting... It's not too much. It's not too too much like the princess, but yeah, there are war scenes, there are fighting scenes, but yeah, it's all good. And um, can we just take a minute to commend the actors? Like, I don't think any of them have ever played such a role before, but 
like they did it so well this shows like they worked well together they they had a good team going for them on set and just so wonderful and like they they had like a good community they were able to work together train well and yeah they brought their a game to this movie and they performed so well and if you go through the like their training before they acted the movie like it's so it's not easy like that to undergo training to learn all the combat skills and they got stronger together and yeah i just don't say it's paid off and just give them their accolades yeah and also the the costume designer in this movie uh i think she did a great job yeah i don't really know what to compare it with but i think the costumes were, were kind of interesting and yeah Okay, so that's it for today's video. Have you seen The Woman King? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. To my next video, see you later, guys. Bye.